What is up guys, it's Bucky and welcome back to your second JavaScript tutorial. And in this tutorial, I want to start out by talking to you guys about something called comments. Now, if you're familiar with XHTML, you know that sometimes you can leave comments to yourself. And if you guys don't know what a comment is, a comment is basically a line of text or a line of code that your browser ignores completely. So why would you want to leave these comments in your code and why are they useful? Well, a comment is basically just like a sticky note or a reminder telling you to do something like maybe edit a line of code or add something else to your web page. It's going to be a line that your browser just ignores just so you know, just so the programmer or whoever created the web page can follow along easier. So go ahead and in order to add a comment in JavaScript, go ahead and press forward slash forward slash and then type comment goes here. Now whenever you go ahead and run your web page, save it and run it, you see that nothing happens because your browser knows to ignore that, that it was just a comment, maybe a little reminder that you're just doing something, so just forget about it. It pretends like it isn't even there. So anyways, like I said, it's just like a basically a little sticky note to yourself. But if you're saying, all right, that's good for one line of code, but what if you have a longer comment? What if you want to leave a comment that's like, all right, go ahead, edit this web page, and wash my dog, then go to eBay and buy some items, and then, you know, finish this web page, yada, 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 yada. Well, you need more than a single line comment, and you need something called a multi line comment. So, in order to leave a multi line comment, go ahead and write forward slash asterisk, and then after this, write this is comment, yada, yada, go buy stuff on eBay, yada, yada, yada. And then in order to end it, go ahead and press asterisk forward slash. Now I wrote two lines, but you can have as many lines as you want. So that's the difference between writing a comment on a single line and writing one over multiple lines. It just depends on how long your comment is basically. So go ahead and delete all your comments. And now that we're done with that, let me tell you guys the basics behind not only JavaScript, but every single computer programming language. A computer program is just, at the core, it's just going to follow instructions. For example, if you wanted to tell your friend how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you would say, step number one, get out the bread. Step number two, put peanut butter on one piece. Step number three, put jelly on one piece. Step number four, put it in your mouth. So just like a computer program, it's going to follow instructions step by step. Now each instruction is called a statement. Now every statement is going to end in a semicolon. So we already saw one of these statements right here and that's how to print things out on a screen and that's document dot write. Now that's why we ended it with a semicolon and in order to print something on screen we just add those quotation marks and write like I love ham. So whenever we save this it's going to see that alright print something out on the screen. That's my one job. I go ahead and I printed it out on the screen. And if we have another instruction under this, let's just go ahead and print something else out. Copy and paste it. I love ham and I love bacon too. So it's going to say, all right, print out I love ham. That's instruction number one. Print out I love bacon too. That's instruction number two. And notice that each instruction ends with a semicolon. And again, these are called statements. So let's go ahead and save this refresh it and see it said I love ham and then it told me to do I love bacon and then bam computer programming is over so that's the basics be behind every single computer program it just starts at the top it does all your statements and then it ends how simple is that so well I guess that's all I want to give you guys for this tutorial because the next subject is kind of a lengthy one and it's gonna take a whole video to learn but remember in order to leave a comment, you need either two forward slashes for a single line or that forward slash asterisk, asterisk forward slash, if you want to leave a comment over multiple lines. And all a computer program does is it goes line by line, aka statement by statement, as long as they end with a semicolon, and it does this, then this, until it gets to the end of your script. So we're saying, all right, do the first thing, do the second thing, and then end. So that's basically how a computer program works. So in the next tutorial, 
I'm going to be teaching you probably the biggest, most important concept behind computer programming, and that is called variables. So it's going to be a super important tutorial. You definitely want to check it out, and it's definitely going to help you understand JavaScript so much more. So thank you guys for watching this one, and uh, I'll see you in that video.